Question three. So question three can be another thoughts and feelings question. In this case, it's a how question. So the question is, Connell is really missing Marianne. How does the writer show this? So you'd go through the, the extract, try to find five, six, seven, eight quotes that show Connell's really missing Marianne and then analyse the language. Okay, so again, pause the video if you want while I read. He missed the way Marianne had made him feel and he missed her company. He called her phone all the time. He sent her text messages every day, but she never replied. His mother said he was barred from visiting her house, though he didn't think he would have tried that anyway. For a while, we tried to get over it by drinking too much and having anxious, upsetting dates with other girls. At a house party in May, he kissed Barry Kenny's sister, Sinead, who was 23 and had a degree in speech and language therapy. Afterwards, he felt so bad he threw up. And he had to tell Sinead he was drunk, even though he wasn't really. There was no one he could talk to about that. He was excruciatingly lonely. He had recurring dreams about being with Marianne again, holding her peacefully the way he used to when they were tired, and speaking with her in low voices. Then he'd remember what happened and wake up feeling so depressed he couldn't move a single muscle on his body. One night in June, he came home drunk and asked Lorraine if she saw Marianne much at work. Sometimes, said Lorraine, why? And is she all right or what? I've already told you I think she's upset. She won't reply to any of my texts or anything, he said. When I call her, like, if she sees it's me, she won't pick up. Because you hurt her feelings. Yeah, but it's kind of overreacting, isn't it? Lorraine shrugged and looked back at the TV. Lorraine kept looking straight at the TV. Connor was drunk. He doesn't remember what she was watching. Slowly, she said, you know, Marianne is a very vulnerable person. You did something very exploitative there and you hurt her. So maybe it's good that you're feeling bad about it. So pause the video and try to highlight anything that show Connell's really missing Marianne. Okay, so like I say, highlight any quotes that show he's missing Marianne. And again, if you want to write some answers, this is a fake quote, but this is just to show you the kind of thing. So I've made up a quote that says he checked his phone every two seconds. And I put the writer shows Connell's missing Marianne with the quote, he checked his phone every two seconds. This tells the reader he's desperate for Marianne to contact him. Here's the ones I've highlighted. Again, in a perfect world, I want to be highlighting maybe at least one towards the end. Um, just to show the, show the exam where I've read the, all the abstract. But I've got about five or six or seven or eight quotes here. Okay, again, so the ones I've highlighted are he missed the way Marianne made him feel, he missed her company, he called her phone all the time, um, he was barred from visiting her house, though he didn't think he would have tried that anyway, but he doesn't say he definitely wouldn't, so he might do that. Uh, he went on another date with girls and so on. Again, being a human dictionary, picking out a word and say what it means. So this one you could probably talk about twice. So the quote, the quote is, he was excruciatingly lonely. So what does lonely mean? We know what it means, but what other words? Alone, solitary, isolated, deserted, desolate, forlorn, secluded, remote. So let's put that into an answer. The writer shows Coddle is really missing Marianne with the quote, he was excruciatingly lonely. This tells the reader he was feeling very alone and isolated since Marianne left him. Again, blue is my question, green is my quote, and yellow is explaining how the writer shows Coddle is missing Marianne. Go back to the quote, but this time I'm going to highlight the adverb excruciatingly. Again, what does that mean? Painful, torturous, tormenting, severe, acute, intense. Now, same answer as before, but I'm just going to add excruciatingly makes it sound like the separation is physically painful for him. There you go. So I'd almost get two quotes looking at one mark. Uh, one quote. Another one, pretty a simple one. This is probably one where you wouldn't need to explain too much, but I'm going to. Uh, he missed the way Marianne has made him feel, and he missed her company. So repetition of the word missed. Again, for missing someone, what does it mean? Pretty simply, you feel sad and wish they were still with you. So here's my answer. The writer shows Connell was really missing Marianne with the quote, he missed the way Marianne made him feel and he missed her company. This tells the reader Connell feels sad and wishes he was still with Marianne. Again, there's a, there's a bit of an opportunity here to talk about the repetition. So I'm going to add the use of the word missed twice in one sentence exaggerates this feeling for the reader that he's really missing her. And here are some more. Um, I've got... Um, the writer shows Cornell's really missing Marianne with the quote, he called her phone all the time. He sent her text messages every day. This tells the reader he is constantly trying to contact her, 
even though she never replied. She never replied to another quote. The writer shows Connell's really missing Marianne with the quote. He had recurring dreams about being with Marianne. This suggests he's thinking about her all the time. She's even on his mind when he's asleep. Final one, we get the impression he's unhappy to wake up to the reality of not being with Marianne. He says, wake up feeling so depressed he couldn't move a single muscle in his body. So my blue is my question, my green is my quote, and my yellow is explaining.